August 2nd. Uh, today is Thursday and um, um, I wanted to tell you guys real quick that I uh, I got a huge hit on Eric Gardner. Um, just a beautiful energy for him. He wants me to tell his family that he loves them. Tell my, tell my family that I love them. And uh, he's sorry. So he couldn't help that he died. He was kind of signed up for it, kind of like uh, the lamb. But he um, he had gone off the wagon or something is what I'm getting from him. And um, this man that killed him, killed him because he was afraid of him deliberately did what he did. He's not saying it in anger. He's just saying this man's soul has an issue. So it um, doesn't matter what they do to him on earth. He's got something to do on the other side because of this. But he was afraid of him because he's a big man and he's a black man. And he, um, when he was saying, I can't breathe, he's saying he didn't believe him. But it was almost like this power thing. He got a kick out of it. I don't know if this guy was up for other charges on certain people, but I'm definitely feeling like uh, he knew better. And, uh, you know, Barr and those whole bit, they, you know, they just said, oh, yeah, you killed a black man, not guilty. But, yeah, he's he's got, listen, his price will be paid on the other side. Doesn't matter what they do to him in this one. I know his family wants justice, but he's saying he loves them. He told me, Linda, I saw him, he's very gorgeous energetically. And he says, tell, tell my, my family I love them. It was very sweet. And there was sort of a sadness, and usually over there they're not sad, they're very happy. It's beautiful there where he's at. And there's a woman around him, so I don't know if it's a grandma or great grandma or something, but energetically he's saying, it's, it's beautiful here, tell them not to worry about me. I'm the one that's okay. Um, but again, this guy has got his just desserts coming and the family is so furious and they're fighting for a cause that's bigger than him. So yeah, they're being, they're using their voice and they're doing what they can, but they feel driven to fight for this cause. So he's not, um, holding it against them. He doesn't want them to carry it for too hard because they must know, I think he's come to them in dreams, that he's actually okay. But it still wasn't right. Still wasn't that right. Okay, he's saying like, I signed up for this. Like this is part of what I was supposed to do. So Eric Gardner, beautiful energy form, a sweetheart, loved his family, kind of went off the deep end. I don't know what that means. I don't know if he had issues at all, but that's what he's telling me and he's apologizing to them. Maybe he wasn't always present or said he was going to do something and he didn't. So, okay. So, now, I have to tell you, I do not like Telsey Gabbard, you guys. She is definitely kind of like that Jill Stein. She feels like, I've heard she's had meetings with Putin. I don't know if it's just too much talking going on, but I'm feeling not good about her. And I don't know if you saw the video where she said, I was for Mueller doing his report. I was for this. I was for that. But now he has proven that there's no collusion and we need to step away. We need to move on. And I'm like, what? So I don't trust her. And I didn't even before she did this because when she was on the first thing with all the Democrats, she... The guy asked her a question and she never answered it. All she kept doing was talking about her her uh, service. 
which I'm glad people, you know, God love them. But she just kept going on and on, and, and I served, and I did this, and I and every time they hit her, she'd do that. It's like, and sure enough, the second time around, what does she start off saying? I served in the military. So I guess that's supposed to be, and for a woman, that's good. That's huge, but she's not whole. Let me take a look at her. Telsey Gabbard. Do we have to worry about her? What's going on with Telsey Gabbard? Telsey Gabbard. What do I tell everybody? Telsey Gabbard. Okay. She speaks with forked tongue. She's upset because I think she knows people are on to her. Um, she really had this dream of being president. No, she's not going to do it, you guys. No, 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 no. And, you know, she's going to get hit pretty hard. Um, there might be some other stuff that comes out of, ooh. Could she be that crooked that justice is served? Could be some information comes out. It, it, there's some information or someone's going to come out and say something about her. Feels like another woman. There's something that's going to come out about her that's going to, I don't know, she might not even get back in office the next term. So her life's falling apart. So, I mean, I don't wish that on her, but she's not going to be president. That's the main thing. And, you know, Russia's paying for her to be in the front and center that when, when I heard her first interview that she did, or her debate, that she said that, um, when I heard that, that, Rush, that the Republicans were totally for her, I knew she was trouble. Okay, that's like Jill Stein. So, there's, they're a plant. Okay, now. Osama bin Laden's son, Hazma, Hazma, Haz, Hamza bin Laden, was killed in a drone hit. I want to know. Trump said he didn't know nothing about it or he couldn't talk about it or something. What is the deal with that? Hazma bin Laden. Okay, I just heard as clear as day the United States was in on it. Did they not know he was there? They were trying to hit somebody else. I was gonna, I was thinking, ah, they knew, but Spirit is telling me they didn't know he was there. But they're not sad that he was there. What is the deal with Haz Hamza? Because there's other sons too, so. Um, someone will take over. He's with his dad now. But his dad is like, apologizing to him. So I don't know what that's about. Some, You know, a lot of people, when they have this certain thing in their head about what it should be, and it's definitely not, you know, those of us that say it's the Christian way and this is how you're supposed to be, it's very surprising for a lot of them over there, like the Catholics. There's no pearly gates. It's all based on who you are in this lifetime. How conscious you are in this lifetime will, will be where you vibrationally go on in the next life. And a lot of people walk around unconscious. Yeah, the family's very upset. The family's very upset. Um, they're gathering around and they, they, it's like they want to hurt somebody. It's like they want to hurt somebody. Uh, but they're not going to be able to because it's it doesn't feel they don't feel strong enough. But I feel they feel they feel that this was a setup that he they planned on killing them. For some reason, I get no with the government. I really feel they were trying to get someone else. Maybe the other guy that they're looking for that they still haven't found. Um, he's a martyr now. 
so he's beloved. Is Saudi Arabia mad at Trump for what happened? No, I heard no. Is Saudi Arabia mad at Trump for what happened? Oh, they're not happy. They're not happy. This kind of blew people out of the water. I, I don't know why it wasn't expected. Um, like I said, there's some underhandedness, some sneak talking, some maybe like a 9-11 kind of conversation going on where they're trying to think of something to make America pay. Um, e even with Osama being killed, you know, even though he had to pay the price for what he did, they were thinking of what we can do to make him pay. But I almost feel like they can't do it. I don't feel good about that prince over there. I feel like he's gonna get hit. I feel like it's from family. Just like with uh, Kim Jong-un, I feel like he'll get hit from the inside. Okay, here we go. I don't know when, you guys, So, but I, I know that. They're thinking about retaliation, but they don't. So, okay. Now, somebody wanted me to ask about Joe Biden's health. Tell me about Joe Biden's health. Now, I'm not thrilled with Joe Biden. And I'm not thrilled with them talking trash about Obama. And I think Trump can stand on that little soapbox of his and say, look, they're even cutting Obama down. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. And it's interesting. I, I'm not, now I'm not a fan of Cory Booker. I, I, Camilla, I, I, I never saw her winning now. She could go up for VP, but I, I like <coughs> Helen Warren. <coughs> What's her name? Warren, Elizabeth Warren, not Helen Warren. Okay. Tell me about Joe Biden's health, but I'm feeling Joe Biden, apparently he had a stroke a long time ago, so there's some residual, but if he gets a strong vice P, he could get through this. So he'll get people to work around him, trust me. Tell me about Joe Biden. Tell me about his health. His son's helping from the other side, you guys. I know it's not fair, but his son is helping from the other side. He needs more rest. Um... He's got some heartbreak here. There's disappointment. Either the world is disappointed with him or he's disappointed himself. But he's got the Ten of Cups, the star. So his wife is really powerful around him too. You know, so funny is that Trump is going to be the one that's getting ready to get sick pretty soon. I just saw that. It just shows he needs more rest. And I think his heart is broken just from what people are doing and stabbing him and treating him like an old man that he is. But well, let's just ask, will Joe Biden, who's got the highest numbers, actually win? Will Joe Biden win? as President of the United States. Don't forget next week we got Sterling on. Then I have um, Kim from Intuitive View. I think she's coming the week after. This weekend is my daughter's birthday, so we're gonna go see Hamilton. And then I have to meet my sister out here because we've got VIP with Michael McDonald. I'm going to say hey to the Michael. What can I tell? Is Joe Biden going to win? Joe Biden. September. I don't see him winning, you guys. He makes a dent. I wonder if his health is going to fail. He doesn't have to necessarily die, but it's something where the world gathers around him to give him healing and peace. Um, 
I'm not seeing him winning. I just got to say it. It's not showing yes. You know, it'll hit me. It'll say yes. Let me ask about... Um, just give me somebody. Just show me. Just kind of give us a little hint. I know there's a lot of people. I know that as long as it's not Telsey. Oh, God. I can't stand her. And I shouldn't talk like that because that's very low energy. It's not very spiritual of me. It's not for me to say. Oh, and I guess that congressman stepped away because, um, and Trump wrote this thing that, oh yeah, you know, he was the fake news is just on him and they're just doing all these things. So he's just gonna stay in Congress. He's not going to take on this job. And I said, oh really? So basically what you're saying is he can't handle the truth. Because the truth came out. You can't put somebody out there and not expect their dirty laundry to come out. It's amazing how, and of course, anything that is the truth is fake news. Just like when he got a, uh, he got all up, up, up out of shape about Fox News. He doesn't like it unless it's his people. If they actually critique him, you know. Okay, so tell me about who the next president is going to be. Tell me about who the next president is going to be. Somebody powerful, you guys. Something good. Sterling has, an, uh, uh, has information on this. It's not Trump. Um, something in September is huge, you guys. So remember that. Of course, you all come back to me and say, Linda, remember you said, I don't remember. But something in September is huge. I asked for the person, and they're giving me, they're not giving me. They're giving me the star, the world, the ace of cups, the wheel of fortune. It's almost like, and it's almost like it's, it's not even decided yet. So come on, tell me. If you can just give me something. Just tell me who the next president. Just give me something. I often felt like it was a man. Nine of Cups. Justice will be served. Well, he's a man and he's a powerful man. And there's a woman standing next to him. So does the woman win? They're not telling me. There's a woman and a man. And there's a lot of work on this. A lot of money is going to be spent. It's a shame, you know, because there's some good people out there that could be president, but they don't have the money. So I'm not getting, uh, I'm not getting Biden now. Okay. I could be wrong. Either that or Biden comes in and he gets a powerful woman behind him and he's good. So who will be president? Okay, and then I wanted to ask about, uh, you know, dirt, dirt bag. What's his name? The attorney. Did you know, guys know on Twitter he's giving reasons? Well, if a 16-year-old can decide to have an abortion, why can't she decide to have sex? In other words, it's not illegal. He's getting ready to go down. So, Epstein. Let's look at Alan... Jerk, Dirk, Dirk or something, Dirk bag. Hey, Alan, what's gonna happen to you? He's nervous. Now listen, you guys, I gotta tell you something. I, th I think I posted the article on YouTube, not on YouTube, on Twitter, but apparently, you know the guy, Acosta, that let, uh, Epstein off? Well, apparently he was talked to by somebody who said, this is way over your head. Just let it go. We're going to give you this package and you're going to okay it. Like he had no choice in the matter. He wasn't trying to think this up. So there's names behind this Epstein thing that are huge. Mark my words. His wife's going to leave him. I think Alan is not going in for a good time, okay? 
Four of Swords, Three of Swords, the Tower. Um, he's hustling. His wife's going to leave him. She'll stay while they're doing this, and then she's going to leave him. So, yeah, he's, uh, he's in trouble. He's upset. That's why he's talking. So, Epstein, the things that are going on. So, he's hoping the powerful people help him. But remember I told you I felt like the FBI had a lot of information. They really don't need him to cooperate because they have it in black and white. I'm feeling like Trump's not worrying, and I don't know if it's because Barr's in the middle of this, but I feel like there's some people going down. What can I tell? Of course, it'll be fake news. I don't feel Trump going down because of some sexual exploit. I hate to say that, but that's the truth. I've often felt it was because something with his finances is getting ready to come out. There's Trump. There's big names coming down, you guys. There's big names coming down. The tower is here. It's going to cleanse the world because it's all out there. So it's sort of a cleansing energy. We come out of the darkness. We're going to kind of energetically make this. There's children that were murdered. I'm going to tell you right now. I just saw it. There's children that lost their lives because they were going to complain or say something. I just saw that. Okay, so. Epstein. Ellen. Okay. I think I've told you guys this before, but trust me, what you call is getting ready to hit the fan. So let's look at, this is a card I have for Trumpster, Mr. Gemini. Can you give us anything just to catch us up? Can you give us something just so I can tell folks? Donald Trump. I see big wigs talking about him. A lot of Congress people and senators, they're not picking up the, the new terms. They want out because he's such a liar and it's very hard for them. They just want out of the madness. Give us something on Trump. What can you tell us? What's going on now? He's trying to negotiate money. I'm telling you, he's not feeling well. Something's going on. Uh, he's got the, he's not feeling well. I'm going to tell you right now, you guys, his son is reversed. He's, um, the Mueller thing has actually affected him more. I told you that Mueller was going to affect him, even though it looks sort of flatline. I'm telling you, those were nuggets. Those were jewels that came out. It's almost like this is beyond him because as he does this traveling and, you know, and, and having the, the Trumpsters that love him, there's not enough Trumpsters that love him. He's losing votes, I feel like, a collapse. The people who had voted him for him before that didn't like Hillary, and a lot of it thanks to Russia, are, would never vote for him again. Listen, I'd even take a Republican as long as he's a decent person, that he's not a liar except for Pence, but I would take, you know, but I wouldn't take any of those people that were complicit and lied on his behalf and didn't stand up to the plate. But I'm feeling like this man that comes in or whoever's female or man that comes in for the new administration tries to heal too, but they do make sure that Trump steps up to the plate because I see constant barrage of lawsuits. And this guy has no clue. This guy has no clue. Pretty soon we, we won't even pay attention. Trump's not healthy though. I'm not feeling healthy. I don't see him living to be an old man. So, um, okay. Now, he's going to be wailing. What does that mean? He's wailing. 
it, fate's fortune. It's almost that feeling like Romeo and Juliet when that friend, what was his name? He said, they've made worms meat out of me. It's like he's wailing. He's, he knows he's going down and, and people he thought was his friends are, are gonna turn against him. But he just couldn't tell the truth. He just could not tell the truth. So, but listen, you guys, I know you get afraid, but there's more people than not that are against him. There's always going to be the standard, and it's not 42. Trust me, it's lower than that. But I feel like some people just can't hear it anymore. They're tired of it. I'm meeting a lot of people. I talk to a lot of people who used to like Trump because they thought he would do something. And don't forget, the economy is going to start slowly but surely going down. So it's, you know, he likes to brag about the economy, but he didn't do that magical health care because he said, let me handle it. I'll make sure it's the best health care ever. I have my people working on it. You guys are going to get the best health care ever. And I remember even thinking, God, that would be great if he could complete that. Nope. And the the uh, illegal thing, it's it's there's just more staff, more things that need to be done. We're not talking about opening the door to every Joe Blow and their neighbor. They need to come in here legally. But they, even the legal ones, they were taking their children away. But let, let me tell you, I don't see no crop picker, cotton picker, um, fruit picker that's saying, doggone those illegals. The people that are doing this stuff are actually begging for more people to work. So, and it doesn't pay for nothing, but it helps over there in Mexico. So, anyway. But, yeah, I mean, he, they're saying, well, Obama built the cages. Yeah, Obama did the cages, but it wasn't for the purpose of putting children in there or humans in there. It was for something else. But he's not the one that did that. So, it doesn't matter. You can talk to your blue in the face. They, they don't care. So, anyway, listen, I'm going to come back tomorrow. Um because I'm gone all day Sunday, and then I leave the next weekend uh, out of town, but so I won't be at Angel. So send me your, your bites, what you want me to look at. I just know, is there anything else you want me to tell everybody? Is there some news? Let's just look. Is there some news coming up? Is there something you want me to tell everybody? Unexpected. This isn't political. It feels like a volcano. Something unexpected because I saw the plume of smoke. Either that or maybe it's it's another huge fire. But they're telling me lives will be lost. That's what they just said. So there's something coming up. And they only give me these little tidbits so you guys know I'm on the right track and I'm talking to them. tell me what else is coming up is there something you want everybody to know they want you to be strong they want you to be quiet as much as you can in your head um, there'll be news on Trump coming up they're showing Trump with the cups spilt upside down with the five of swords so there's some battle going on that he will not win so he's going into battle but he will not win they said be be quiet be patient and be whole and there's a lot of love coming out so be with the love you guys because that will energetically make you stronger and if you're stronger energetically you can create well-being throughout and i'm not you know i'm just going to tell you it's cool all right, you guys, so just be whole and know that I definitely getting them telling me something's coming up with Trump. And it's like we're all kind of standing still going, what? Breaking news. Um, there's stuff coming out pretty soon, but try to remain as calm as possible. But this will help you know that soon he'll be gone. Okay? That's what I want to tell you. Okay? So, I'll talk to you all. Manana.
okay? And I'll, I'll get you in. I got, I've been doing these readings like till noontime. So I'm exhausted by the time I'm done, but I gotta do this and get it done because otherwise if I start laying around, I'm kind of lazy. So um, no more Trump. Cheers. <laughs>